But yeah, I'll go over the add-ons real quick. Alright, so Bubba, your gives the chance of cooldown. This hasn't changed. When you're after you're done with an attack, you recover quicker. Increases the movement speed during the tantrum. When you bump into something, ideally you shouldn't be doing it at all, you move a bit quicker. How much? I don't know. Marital increases the rate at which charges replenish. This is always good, I suppose, but you shouldn't really need charges all that often. Um, unless the game is really picking up. But hey, good brown, I suppose. Uh, there's the tantrum duration. Probably good, but it's probably not by a lot. Speed limiter, same thing it did before. Terrible. Primer bulb, these used to be... Easily the best add-on on Bubba, combined with the turning guide. Now it does fucking nothing. Like, it does- like, this is the most disappointing thing in the world. It makes you move faster while you're in Tantrum. Ideally, you should never be in Tantrum. If you play Bubba right, unless I'm missing something... You know, okay, sometimes you can bump into things on purpose and stuff, but... Ideally, you, you should never go in Tantrum. So this is terrible. Uh, knife Scratches, these add-ons are not great on Bubba. They were great on Bubba, if you pair them with charged add-ons, and then they were kind of funny. I don't think this is great. But, you know, maybe... Maybe it's not that big of a deal, or maybe it enables some playstyle at loops that I'm not seeing. It is possible that this is good now. Maybe with Bubba, now you can play him a bit like Pig. You go to a, a loop, you stay on a pallet, and then you rep your chainsaw, and then you're, you're like Pig, right? You go one way, you go the other, and you catch a survivor. You should be able to do that with knife scratches. Kind of the way we used to, so yeah, this is it's possible that this is good. Beast Marks is the same, but you move quicker. The homemade muffler. Uh, reduces the tantrum duration, so it's the same as the chainsaw file. This used to make your chainsaw quieter, so that's great. This is good, I guess. Uh, chili. Um, basically, when you when you use up uh, when you continue the chainsaw, when you when you do repeated chainsaw sweeps, they go for a bit longer, and they also give you more window to make up for it. So forget about the second part. The second part is pretty much like it's not there. It's just to uh, accommodate for the change. So basically, um, if you do, do, if you do additional chainsaw sweeps, it goes on for longer. The grease uh, movement speed during the tantrum, but increases the duration of the tantrum. What? What? Am I am I stupid? Are you telling me that the, the, the green add-on is a straight downgrade to the yellow add-on? What? What? Moderately increases movement speed during the tantrum. Increases the duration, of, which is bad. Moderately increases movement speed during the tantrum. Shouldn't this be the other way? Or not be at all? The fuck? They both- yeah, they're both bad. These add-ons used to be some of the best, especially this one. This one was good too, because it had slight, slight charge increase. Uh, okay, this was... The, either it's badly written, or it's a complete fucking oversight, because that's quite bad. Anyway, Shop Lubricant. This is a very unique add-on. Um, when you down a survivor and there's no one around them... Um, I don't, I don't know if this add-on has any indication that it triggers. If it did, it would give you a bit of info, right? You're down a survivor, this add-on shows up on your screen, and you're like, Oh shit, no one else in my terror radius, cool. I'm gonna hook in then. Or someone else in my terror radius, hmm, let me check behind this rock, see if there's someone. But I don't know if it gives you any info. If it doesn't give you any info, I think it's garbage. But, you know, whatever. So I was hit uh, for the chainsaw, sorry from the mangle for 90 seconds. That's alright. Uh, Chenso hits, makes survivors drop their items. That's kind of cool. I like this one. If there's nothing else that really helps with Chenso, this one's someone that you could slap on if you see a lot of items. The rest of chains, uh, makes it broken. I don't really know if broken is that great of a thing on a kill that can insta down, but, you know, could be good. Alright, 90 seconds. Um, light chassis. This is, this, I like this item. This one seems cool. I don't like the fact that it reduces your movement speed while revving. This means that hitting people with your chainsaw is probably... I don't know how slight that is. Sometimes slight is slight, and sometimes slight is, you know, half. <laughs> but... It shows you the art of survivors. That's kind of cool. It's a, it's an interesting item. Uh, the, de the death gauge rake is actually quite interesting. Instead of having three charges to do three sweeps, you can do four sweeps. 
but it does increase your charge time, so it's like the knife scratches. Honestly, it seems like a straight upgrade to the knife scratches, right? Why the fuck would I want to be quicker when I could just do it for longer? Yeah, although maybe these ones help more at loops. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, dude, I really want- I want one person to practice this with. I want to go on loops and see if we can, like, become a chasing bubba. Right, so that's one thing. And then the award-winning chili, which is an upgrade to the previous chili. Increases the dash duration when a token is confused. Uh, moderately increases the additional chance of win, though. I don't feel... I know I've, I've only tried it once. I don't feel like it's a huge deal. I couldn't, like, feel the effect a lot. So I'm gonna guess that these are not super impactful, but they, they, they might be, for all we know. And now for the ultra reverse. The iridescent flesh is super straightforward. If, if there's two survivors in the basement, and one of them tanks a hit, let's say, um, you, you can, even if you were out of charges, you can hit the other survivor if he's running away, because you get your charges. One thing I think you might be able to do, and this could be pretty fucking crazy, if a survivor has borrowed time, you can hit them with your chancel, recharge it, and then keep using charges. And even if they have borrowed time, you might be able to catch up to them. Kind of like Legion, you know Legion? You hit them, you catch up to them, and then, but without the cooldown. So this could be actually really good for camping, believe it or not. We could test it. Um, then we got the carburetor tonic guide. And this is a really interesting. So the carburetor tonic guide takes all of your charges. Normally you have three charges, right? So you can use zoom, 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 and then zoom, 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 and then zoom, 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 three charges. This takes all of them, consumes them at once. And then you do the nine charges or the, or the nine sweeps or whatever, or however many you had. So, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, you let you, you charge your chainsaw and then you go vroom, vroom, and then you just keep doing it for like 20 seconds or however long it takes. Tuning guide. Did I say tuning? Yeah, tuning. <laughs> Thank you, that does help with the pronouncing. Tuning. I don't know how I pronounce it the first time, but hopefully you guys get the point. So, I, like, the, the fact that it increases the duration is not that noticeable. The, the fact that it decreases the speed it's probably bad, but if you go for that long, it's not that big of a deal. And the charge rate, yeah, it's not, it doesn't seem that awesome. But, like, once you get it going, it's like training wheels. If you're a good bubba, you should be able to use your char your charges in a smart way. With this add-on, you just do it and the charges just go by themselves. So, that's kind of cool. But, it doesn't seem like ultra rare power. That's how I, that's how I see it. Hmm. So that's the add-ons for Cannibal. Let's go over the ones for Bailey, I suppose. Right, so for Bailey. Whew. You have add-ons that... This is, as far as I understand it, this is bumping add-ons, right? So the steel, steel toe boots makes you... Reduces the bumping. Uh, so does the low kickback chains. This also reduces bumping. And that's it for bumping add-ons. When you bump into an object, you know, this is like, if you're new to Billy, you can use them. Next, we got the Junkyard Air Filter. The overheating limit, which, you know, happens when you use your Tenso for whatever reason. The cap is bigger. And I'm gonna guess, based on previous add-ons, that it's 10%. So if there's 100, char 100 charges to overheat, this is probably like 10%. Based on the other add-ons, on other kills that do the same thing. Then we got the Dad's Boots, which makes you move a little bit mm, better. Which is the opposite of the heavy clutch. The heavy clutch makes you move a little bit worse, but it makes it easier to bump into things as you go past them and not actually bump into them. Uh, I, it, it's like you can use them together, and then you have the same steering, but you don't bump into things as easily. So you can brush by them and glide around uh, alongside some walls and objects. Doesn't seem that great, honestly. Speed limiter does the same thing as before. If you hit a survivor, they don't go down with one hit. Uh, Puncture Muffler, one of the better add-ons, uh, for, for real. Uh, being able to cool your chainsaw is very important when you're using it for, you know, mobility and for snowballs, so this seems good. Even though it says slightly, it seems pretty noticeable. The Obram Motor Oil, uh, I, I don't think this is so great. It moves, it just changes the chainsaw noises. Maybe it is a pretty big deal, but at any rate, noise is only a small part of Billy. Uh, the Death Engravings and the Doom Engravings work exactly the same as before. The only problem that you're gonna find, uh, if you guys don't know, we'll repeat it again, they, you, you take longer to, change the to charge the chainsaw, but then you move much, much quicker once you're going. 
the problem is that there's no longer the charge add-ons to complement these. Normally, Billy's would pick one of these, and then they would pick an add-on, uh, like the spark plug, to make up for the increase in charge time. Right? You can't do that anymore. There's no add-ons like that quite uh, anymore. Big buckle. Uh, when you're a maximum overheat, you lose 8 meters of terrorists. It's kind of cool. I like the idea behind it. It could be buffed a bit. Because you shouldn't be in whole cooldown forever. What you could do with this add-on, for example, at the start of the match, you could manually overheat your Chenzo by tapping M2, have monitor on abuse, and then you would have monitor on abuse, make your chance your turret radius uh, 24 meters, and then with this make it 16. If it was buff, it could be interesting, but yeah. Not 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 great. Not game changing. This add-on is really baffling. I don't understand it. Um, anytime someone is aiming at you with a flashlight, you move quicker. I don't know how precise it is. I don't know if it needs to be on you or around you or whatever. Uh, 0.2, if you guys are wondering, is 5% in terms of percentage. So that means like it gives you one stack of play with your food when a survivor is aiming their flashlight at you. Survivors aim their flashlight at you when you're picking someone up, when you're breaking a pallet. They don't, they don't aim your flash because they stop, right? They don't aim your, their flashlight at you while you're looping. So that gain of speed seems... You know, completely irrelevant. It it seems completely not a factor. Very situational. I think situational is like almost overstating it. Uh, yeah, it's it's crazy. Like, can you guys think of any situation? Like the only situation I'm thinking this could help is if you're carrying a survivor and then the the three teammates are all flashing you and trying to like get you and you're like avoiding it and you're looking at the ground and you move. Even then, it's like ridiculous. As we said, the kickback chains are just reduced penalty. The leafy mesh, uh, sorry, the leafy mash uh, seems actually quite interesting. When you insta down a, a survivor with your tenso, you become undetectable for 15 seconds. So you can down them, and it's a bit like dark devotion. Leave them on the ground, and you know, go do something else. It also pairs a lot with the apex muffler, but we'll get to that. The black grease is weird. It's like a tinker on the go. If you get stunned by a pallet, sometimes survivors use that opportunity to blind you. They can do that for, for a few more seconds. What? Uh, I don't really think you need this add-on, but okay. And Tune Carburetor. This is the craziest add-on in the game uh, for Bailey right now. Like, it's it's just so weird. This is the only add-on left for both Billy and Bubba that increases your charge time. Sorry, that improves your charge time. So normally, Billy would take 2.5 seconds to use his Chenso. And with add-ons, you could cut down that by a little or by a lot if you stack them together. One of the main complaints of Billy is that you could stack those add-ons together and then you use your chance in like a second and a half. It was, you know, it was, it was very, very quick, very crazy. This add-on is the only add-on left, so it can't stack with anything else. That increases your charge, that improves your charge time. But it does it at the cost of making you a 4.4 killer. Which, you know, puts you next to Huntress, Spirit, Hag, uh, Deathslinger. All those other killers that chase with their power. This is terrible. This is uh, quite bad. That means that if survivors are really smart and they play around windows and stuff, you you can you're gonna have to M1 them and you're not even gonna be able to do that consistently. Uh, so yeah, you could have you know carburetor turning guide and doom engravings, and this would be the closest thing to like you know crack believe in the past where you have a. Chainsaw so that's still a little bit faster than usual uh, to charge and really really quick once it gets keeps going right the problem is again if survivors you know just force you to m1 and then they start playing around stuff you're a 4.4 killer and if you are really using your chainsaw so to insta down everybody you might as well overheat because you don't have any atoms to prevent the overheating so that's how i anticipate this would work quite bad stuff in my opinion thompson moonshine hasn't changed it makes you steer a lot better and it also makes you uh, bump for longer when you do hit something. Quite bad. Uh, pick house gloves, in my opinion, probably the best add-on right now for Billy. Uh, when you re begin your chainsaw, anytime you begin it, even if you fake it, you gain a boop, like a big bump in heat, uh, which quickly adds up. You begin, you fake it, then you down a survivor, you use your chainsaw, start it again, go someone, start it, fake it, bam, you're already overheated. With this, it's a lot less noticeable. If you combine the pick house gloves, with the puncture muffler, a uh, purple and a yellow, you pretty much have old Billy, almost. But without add-ons. 
<laughs> Jack Nessie, thank you for the dono. Uh, could you pair that charge time with plenty food? I mean, yeah, but then any time that you use your tensor, you lose it. It wouldn't be very wise, in my opinion. Uh, Apex Muffler, one of the most interesting add-ons. And if everything else was right, I would be really happy about this. Outside of your terror radius, whichever that might be, the, t the tensor is silent. That means that if you have no terror radius with, like, the leafy mash or with, you know, smaller terror radius with monitor abuse or dark devotion or whatever, you are completely silent. Um, both in terms of terror radius, obviously, and in terms of tensor. That sounds fucking scary and super fun. And I really like it. This could be a, per a pink add-on, in my opinion. Uh, now, the pink add-ons are a bit disappointing. So, heads up. The low pro chains is the first one. It's basically... Um, it's basically the speed limiter. It makes survivors not die with the chainsaw immediately. And it gives you the ability to chew through pallets and keep going. Um, obviously, there's a give and a take. The give is that you don't insta-down survivors, and the take is that pallets don't stop you. But that is a really bad deal. You know, it's a really bad trade-off. It's, it's horrible. It's terrible. It's... Like, I'm sure they could balance this somehow, but, like, right now, this seems meme. Meme status. So, yeah. Awful. And then we got the iridescent brick. Um, which I actually, you know, I think the idea is cool. If you keep chainsawing for five seconds around the map, with five seconds you can pretty much get anywhere, but let's say that you keep doing it, um, you're undetectable. So, if you pair this with the muffler, if you chainsaw towards a gen, and take 5 seconds to get there, by the time you arrive, you'll have no terrorists and no noise. Problem is, yeah, that's not that's not gonna happen, because you can reach anywhere in 5 seconds. So, I, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe this should be 3 seconds, or 2 seconds, or I, I don't know. It's weird. Um, my first early impressions with both killers, I'll go with Billy first, is that... Using your chainsaw in any way, in any creative way, you know, feathering, using it to break a pallet, then using it to fake it, but then using it for real and then going around the corner, it, it's gone. Like, you cannot do that. Like, it builds up heat way too quickly. Especially without Adam. And it's very, very punishing. The heat takes a really long time to... If it's nearly full, it takes 30 seconds to go down. And if you fill it up completely and then overheat, it takes 15 seconds or so to go down. That's a long, long time. Um... If your chainsaw is nearly heated and survivors start playing smart and they try to juke you, you have a lot of pressure to land the chainsaw because it can overheat before you, you know, fully rev it. Um, there's a lot of issues like when the chainsaw, when you're resting the chainsaw and you're losing progress on the charge, it's sti it still overheats. So yeah, the, the heating is way too punishing. And these add-ons don't really help too much. And the ones that do help, I mean, that's great, but now you're just using add-ons to correct the problem that wasn't there before and you don't have anything to help with the rest. So over, overall, this nerf is way, way too cruel to Billy. If you were going against good survivors, Billy out of the fucking struggle. And he does need some of his best atoms uh, together to keep up. Nerfing or making sure that those atoms couldn't stack would have been a good idea. This is, in my opinion, a little bit too much. As for Baba, his base kit seems to be a lot stronger. Uh, he doesn't slow himself down as much with chainsaws, which is great. Uh, that means that in a 1v1, you should be able to use your chainsaw a little bit better. There's a problem, though. Uh, the best way to doubt to use your chainsaw before was to put on these add-ons. This, and say this, or even better, this. These add-ons, or these add-ons, or any combination of those add-ons, made your chainsaw have less charge. So you could get very close to a survivor, and even if they were really close to a window, you could rev, and as they were going through the window, you could hit them. Uh, if you watch some of my videos, you'll see that happen all the time, especially with add-ons, right? Because you could charge your chainsaw so quickly. The chainsaw for Cannibal is like two seconds, with this it was like a second and something. It was very, very quick. Uh, you you don't have any of these add-ons anymore. These add-ons do not increase your charge time. There is no add-on on, on Bubba that helps the charge time. Which means that even though you're better without add-ons, the add-ons that are existent are not as good. So, if you thought the survivors had too much of an easy time getting to Windows, I'm afraid that it might be just as bad or even worse now. Without, you know, using your power somehow else. So, yeah. That's gonna be tricky. I don't know exactly how we're gonna do that. But, yep. That's pretty much my thoughts. Seems like Baba base, good. Baba add-ons, eh. Billy base. 
way, way down. Billy add-ons, very, very underwhelming as well. Uh, hopefully, though, the developers will listen and we'll let them know that the change maybe is a little bit too much, as everybody seems to agree. If you are a survivor, I remind you, you don't want Billy to be nerfed. Uh, seriously, you don't want him to be super nerfed. If you think that, oh, yeah, I hate Billy, fuck it. Yeah, well, you're going to see a lot more spirits, which I'm sure you really, really like to. So let's let's hope they we find a middle ground for this. But yeah, that's all. Those are all of my thoughts on the changes on these two bad boys. Uh, one very positive thing to say is that their perks have been reworked, and the perk changes seem very okay. Whoever was in charge in that was great. Uh, the changes are like this: we have Franklin's demise. Um, yeah, and during a barbecue, which were already good perks, haven't been changed. So that's perfect. But the perks that have been changed are knockout. Franklin's Demise, and then Lightborn, and Tinker. And these changes were overall great. Tinker went from activating at 85%, which is when a gen is pretty much about to pop, to activating at 70%, which gives you a chance to go there. And it went from being 12 seconds of undetectable to 16 seconds, I believe. So that's great. Tinker, now more of a more appealing of a choice. Lightborn, instead of making you almost invulnerable to flashes, now makes you completely invulnerable to flashes. Uh, f both from flashies and from firecrackers. And if they try, you see them for 10 seconds, which is pretty nice. Uh, I never run this perk, now I might. Uh, Franklin's works the same way. You hit a survivor with your basic attack, they lose the item. Uh, they no longer lose charges on the item, but once the item is on the ground, they have 90 seconds to go pick it up. <laughs> if, they don't, if they don't pick it up, the entity just like consumes it. You know how offerings are consumed uh, in the start in the start screen? They, they just burn out of the ground, it's pretty cool. I like it. And then Knockout has a different effect now. It also blinds survivors uh, from being seen from their teammates, but it blinds, but it also um, makes them crawl slower on the ground, which is nice. And it makes them blind, which means that they can't see any anything else going on. Someone has also told me that they they get the deafened uh, 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 effect as well, where they, they can't hear around them. That could be interesting. We'll see the ramifications of that. But yeah, perks overall, uh, Nice. Those perks that were all pretty underwhelming, you might say them more often, that's a good thing. Uh, not so happy with the changes on the killers, but yeah.